Hey guys, I'm back today and I'm so sorry I didn't get to a video this week. I've been really busy I'm, and I'm sorry if it's shaking. Can I please put you down? Come here, I gotta put you down. This is Ming, but I'm gonna put her down because she's being like a mess and she's gonna be wanting to come back up. But anyway, okay. So the sun is setting, it's Saturday and I'm gonna be putting this up today. You guys know I don't like pre-record videos. I just, like YouTube isn't my main job so I don't have time to pre-record. And plus I think it's better, like I think it's so much more real if you don't have to. Not that, I mean I get people that don't, that can't, but whatever. Anyway, okay, shut up. So. Today I like to sh I'm gonna show you guys things that I bought recently that I'm kind of digging. Um, things that I don't really like. It's not this is not like a favorites and like a not favorites because you guys know I don't really do that. I talk about everything and just not things or whatever. I, I don't even know. Okay, let's get started because I can my intros are always like four million years long. This is a top from Urban. And I have like it in three colors. And I love this because it really suits my line. And I always wear um, chains for my line that go into shirts, but I like this because it's a little bit peekaboo-y. And I don't know, it just works perfectly with my chains. I'm wearing my Coronation Rope um, set in silver. And this is a necklace and a long choker. So it looks like it's double wrapped, but it's not. And then this is my Silver Orion and it's really sparkly and pretty and it, catches the light really nicely. I'm also wearing my Monsters, and a lot of you guys have ordered these, and I'm really stoked you have because there's something I'm really excited about, the um, Crystal Mon HRH Crystal Monsters. And there's two different sizes now. These are the big ones, and these are like the small ones. Um, I don't like that side of it. Make sure you can see the good side. So there's like two sides to the crystals. So this is the Sun AB and the Metallic Denim. These are the AB and AB. This is the um, hematite and AB and then the metallic or sorry the whatever anyway if you guys want to do a, if you guys like these you can email me for them I'll send you some photos and um, I just love them they are freaking amazing what else uh, lipstick let's get into that because actually I want to save it because it's one of my things I want to talk about um stressful week as usual uh, I've just been I went to like some went to a party. I never, I'm never invited to like anything cool. And I went to a Grammy party. I went to, um, what's his name? Duh. Abel. Um, the weekend's Grammy party. It was crazy. Like, I don't like going to like crazy parties cause I'm like, I don't like do well drinking. Like I, I don't know. I just don't do well drinking, but this was so fun. Like the who's who were there. I was just like, you know what I mean? Like the it people. I just felt like, so I had the best subbies. Like I don't have a PR company or anything who like gets me gigs, so I'm just invited to things through like you guys. And one of my customers and subbies um, invited me to this, so she knows who she is. Thank you so much if you're even watching, oh my god. But, and that's how I get invited to random things. And I love it because it's just like so much more real and organic rather than being like, oh, um, you know, peer, like they don't even, the, per, the people, you know, like people who have peer companies, like they don't even, the stuff, like the jobs they get, like the company knows, doesn't even know about them, so whatever kind of off today you guys I don't know all right let's just go <laughs> so weird stuff so I'm gonna talk about let's go some things I'm just gonna start off with this and I kind of love this sorry I'm like playing myself I kind of love this so you guys went with me to Barney's last week pretty much right like in my vlog and I did spend some money in um, cosmetics and this is one thing that I've been looking at getting but I haven't gotten it because it's one of those things that was like 80 or 90 dollars and I wasn't sure and I've tried it on before I'm like okay it's like every other strobe like kind of um you know strobe or whatever powder and but they, they put it on me and it was kind of amazing so right now I'm wearing like some NARS bronzer highlight stuff I forget what it's called I'm sure everyone has it and I'm like kind of greasy right here but you guys know I like that um anyway this is what it looks like and it's the more p it's the number 14 and it's the more pink tone rather than like the bronze tone or there's like a blue tone and stuff Ming Ming she's scratching stuff okay so I'm just gonna do this and I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what it does I shouldn't have worn this so you can like really see but I wear this during the week without any bronzer or like any color And it kind of, like, it gives a little bit of a pink, but more of a bronze. Anyway, I, okay, 
I, I like it a lot. I don't like, it's not life changing. It's one of those things where like if, I'm gonna tell you guys to get something even if you don't have the money for it, you know what I mean? Don't get this if you don't have like the money for it or if you don't really care. But if you like kind of wanna like add something more to your collection and think it, you know, it's kind of nice. I kind of love it, like I approve. And you guys know I don't really approve anything. So I love this. It's by Clue Clé de Peau, is that what it's called? Clé de Peau, it's that like bougie brand. All right, and I think it was like 85 bucks. All right, next thing I'm gonna talk about is these masks. So what I've been doing, like before I go out now, even like before I go out, you know, like for, you know, drinks with my friends or like dinner or something, I'll, if I have time, I'll do a quick mask. And my friend, um, Benita, thank you girl, she sent me this, um, this mask and then I'm gonna and I didn't try hers yet but I saw them at Urban and I was like oh I'm gonna because since she told me they were good I'm gonna get some so before I went to the grand Grammy party I did this one this brightening one and I really kind of like felt like my skin was popping that night like I felt felt I felt on like it just my skin looked really good and I think it has to do with doing a mask before you go out these are three dollars a piece so they're not too like expensive and I was just kind of glowy and I, was, I don't know, I think it helped my makeup to sit nicer I, and I, it was nice and it comes in like brightening, elasticity, skin soothing and nutrition but I didn't see the nutrition one that Benita told me to get at Urban, I didn't see it there so I don't think she got it from there. Oh but the brand, sorry, the brand is the Tony and Tony Molly brand and this is like I feel like everything is Tony Molly now. All right. So next thing I'll talk about is um, I'll just talk about that. So let me move over. Can you guys see my bag? That's like that's the bag I carry now. Uh, that Chanel bag I carry being in it all the time. I went and I kind of caved. So today I went um, to Porsche sunglasses place because I wanted to get the lenses, but of course they're still sold out. Like I can't get new lenses anywhere. They're sold out everywhere. Um, so then I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna walk around Rodeo a little bit. Like Ming wanted to walk, it was a nice day out. I had like an hour left in my meter, so it was just, I had nothing else to do. So I was like fucking ran into Fendi and I knew I shouldn't have because I can't like go in there and not whatever, like buy something. So when I was in there, I, you guys, like, I'm not, like, even trying, you guys know I'm not like this at all, but, like, I was so, I, I guess pe the people there, like, kind of knew who I was, and I felt, like, fucking fabulous as fuck, like, I was, like, so honored, like, I just felt so cool, honestly, like, I don't even know how people even know me, but it's very cool, and it's a very good feeling, <laughs> I just fucking love them so much, so I bought that little puff, and it says H on it, because I don't like the A, the A is black and red, and H, HRH collection, I was, it's like a little bit more cool, like, I love that color um, combo too, anyway, they were so nice in there, I want to show you guys what they gave me, they're like, oh, we know you, like, you're so sweet, whatever, like, I follow you, this and that, and they gave me this really cool Fendi um, coffee table book, and I, it's you guys know like I'm all about the decorating with it not like real shit with not like decorations with things like this like this is gonna be the main fucking focus of my coffee table for probably the next two years it is so cool like look at the inside I just can't even get enough of it and they also gave me this little thing and she brought out and I was like oh my gosh is that a Hong Bao she's like oh no you missed Hong Bao she's like but she's like we wanted these so bad they wouldn't even give them to us but look at it's a little monster notebook and it's leather um, and then look at what comes with it. You guys are gonna fucking freak. Little monster or puffs that with like the initials, like stickers, the whole pack. I'm just like, I'm so stoked. Do you guys know? I live for like the little small shit. This is so cute. I'm like never gonna use it. I'm just gonna keep it forever. I just love it so much. Oh my god. It looks exactly like the inside of my peekaboo, my blue peekaboo. So. Ugh, just made my day you guys have been like stressed out and uh, like very busy and just you know like typical girl shit so it just really makes me feel so happy when people say hi and then like make me feel like I'm something I just I can't get enough of it I mean no it's not like that it just it makes me feel really good okay next I went to CVS and I saw this and okay I was like looking at it I'm like oh my god it's so cute like maybe Ming will like it but it's uh, it's like bigger than Ming and I was like you don't need it like for you like what am I gonna fucking do with it I'm gonna put it up there and then like end up donating it or something but what sold me on it is it's marshmallow scented now I don't smell marshmallow at all I sm I've been smelling it all day and every once in a while I catch a whiff of marshmallow but 
I feel like it's really hard to smell it, but it's a very nice quality plush and it was like six bucks and I just kind of love it. Like I'll probably just like display it for a while and then I'll give it to Ming or something, but so cute. Whatever. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about, let's just like, um, so I bought that Lalabo. I don't want to stop talking about it because I don't want to sound stupid, but Okay, I bought this and it was like $240 and I just wanted like a nice clean jasmine smell. I didn't want anything confusing or complicated. Honestly, okay, let's like be real. I didn't know it was $240. I thought it was gonna be like $150 and it's just not living up to my expectations for $240. Except it does say my name on it and like it's apparently like made for you there so I just don't want to return it. But it's just not exactly what I wanted. And I know one of you guys said keep it in the box, and I did keep it in the box, and the smell still isn't what I thought it would be. Um, it's the, what do you guys think? Maybe I can exchange it. Maybe let me exchange it, I don't know. Um, the List 41 I got. Um, which one do you guys like better? I don't know, maybe I'll go smell more. I just, it's not as jasmine -y as I want. I wanted like pure jasmine, and this is not, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I've been wearing it, but I'm not like, ugh, like I have been about my other things in the past, my other scents. Let me know what you guys think. All right, next, I don't, I have a couple like disappointments that I'm gonna talk to you guys about and one of them you're gonna be like, what in the actual fuck? And I'm so mad about it because I can't get, whatever, I'll tell you guys in a second. Um, gross. Okay, so let me show you guys this. All right, this is, you guys know this is my Fendi Peek, Peekaboo, right? My, um, I think it's called the Poppy Color and I wanted to show you guys the HRH bag chain with it because I've been getting so many um, questions and orders for the HRH bag chain and it is fucking life. I'm telling you guys right now, like if you have a designer bag that can put, you can remove your leather strap and put the HRH bag strap on, you fucking need this. I promise you, you need it. Okay. First of all, look at how cute that is. Like, doesn't that change the vibe rather than putting this ugly ass strap on here? Like, I don't, I think this is so tacky. I hate these straps, but I also want to show you guys like, see their hardware. It's the same hardware that I'm using. Just so you know, um, like the same kind of the deal, deal like the the rounded hinged hardware so it's really nice it's really um easy to get off and on you just snap it on and i also want to show you guys because i know everyone a lot of people are being like i want gold i want gold i'm not doing gold yet i don't think i will do gold i don't like the gold chains in this version i love this silver chain i've used this silver chain forever and i never fails me I love it so I want it I'm just more of a silver person and I don't mind mixing colors just so you guys know I you guys know that about me I do mix um, metals all the time but it's just freaking amazing and it's so much easier and classier than using that stupid ugly I don't know why they like seriously Fendi and Dior with like this stupid leather like leather handles like everything should be chained I feel like everything should be chained like you're paying so much for a bag. Just, the leather is so stupid for like leather hand, like leather, the leather handle or the, sorry, the strap is, makes it look cheap. I don't like it. So I fixed that problem for us. I really did. And you guys need it. I'm not kidding. You need it. Like I have been inter interchanging that bag. And of course you can interchange. You don't need like 40 HRH bag chains. You need like one. And I can also customize the sizes if you guys want like a special size or a length. All right. Next thing I'm going to talk about, okay, I'll talk about a disappointment because this is ridiculous. And someone, and I'm like, whoever told me this, I hate you, but I, but I, you know, I don't, but you were right. Someone wrote, I think on my Instagram or on my, on the video when I sh was trying these on or got them, that their tweed fell apart immediately. So these are, I've been loving these. I've probably worn these for five, five, five times and I love them with yoga pants. I love them with my skinny jeans. You guys, they're like everything, but look at this shit. So because they're really puffy on the sides, like they're meant to be puffy and loose. They're not meant to like, cause they're actual puffy shoe. It's like really puffy here. Um, inside is like styrofoam and then there's only a very thin tweed stitch on the top it's not like a thick tweed it's just a, a small tweed stitch over the top of this i'm not kidding bubble it's like bubble you know like a bubble of styrofoam material that's this puff are you fucking kidding me so i guess because they're puffy and they're like comfy comfy to wear when you walk if you hit like that this whole tweet thing is coming out and it's totally unraveling and you can now see that styrofoam. 
So I bought these at Barney's. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm gonna go in there and this is the thing. Like, I buy shoes from there all the time. I swear to God, if they give me a fucking problem, I'm just gonna like be, I only, like I don't even wanna deal with it. Like I, they better not. Like that is not cool. These are Chanel shoes. They should not have, have made them like that with styrofoam. They should have double layered that tweed or done something else. It's just unacceptable. Um, I'm just really bummed because I don't want it ret to return them. I want I want a new pair, but I know a new pair will do the same thing. So, but this is what they are and I love them. Maybe they have another black pair, but I was so drawn to those. I love those and so I'm really kind of upset about it because I, I can't get like a new pair and you know, the, the same thing will happen. So, um, anyway. The next thing I'm gonna talk about are my lipsticks. And do you guys know I'm not a huge lipstick wearer anymore? I feel like, I feel like for some reason lipstick eight lipsticks age me. I'm not sure what it is. I just feel like that. I feel like if I just wear like lip smackers or something like that or lip gloss, it's not aging. But these lipstick queens in this packaging, just so you guys know, it's this packaging, in number I'm wearing right now, num I'm wearing private party. Oh, it's called velvet rope. Like these are called velvet rope, but the color I'm wearing is private party. And the color I wear all the time, like on the daily is star system. And it's just like kind of the Kylie Jenner, I guess, ish lip color. It's a little bit orange, but it's wearable. It's doable. Um, I don't feel like they come off. Like I feel like this stays through like talking and through like maybe like a couple drinks, not going to last like all, all night. You might have to reapply it once, but it does stay. And it's like velvet. It like feels like velvet on your face so like it feels like skin like I don't feel anything on my lips it's very nice I, I kind of like those are my favorite lipsticks for sure okay talk about that um what else I didn't talk about I was gonna oh you know I talk about something so funny all right you guys know like those those like t-shirts that say like all right I'm just kind of this it's almost like a pet peeve for me okay there's those like t-shirts that say what is it like oh yeah like what's that those brunch t-shirts it's like oh like mimosas and brunch like or what is that fucking brunch shirt everyone wears I don't know okay I like okay I've I will love a shirt that like said something that said like something fucking cool you know what I mean how come all these people that are making these like shirts or all these like companies that can't like do something cool. Why is it always to be fucking about brunch? Like, I don't understand what it has to be about brunch. Like, I've been trying to find a cool shirt that, like, says something, like, very witty, like, and kind of off-putting, but not in a way. I don't get it. Like, what is with, like, the, it's, like, unicorns and brunch, or, like, sham, like, what is a brunch shirt? What does it say? It says, like, I don't know, and I'm gonna like, I know everyone's gonna be like, fuck you, Alex, I have that shirt, I love that shirt, <laughs> but good for you, if you love that shirt, wear that shirt, but that's not even it, like, I just don't get it, like, okay, how much cooler would it be if it was like, I don't even know, let me think of something, like, triple shot espresso in the Rari, <laughs> or something like that, like, I don't know, like, something like, oh, yeah, that's kind of fly, like, that's, that's kind of cool, like, I don't know, what is this, like, brunch shirt like everyone's wearing the brunch or like the what does it say like uh, yeah like beaches and like like beaches and Mai Tais or something like okay so go to the beach and have a Mai Tai it's not that big of a deal okay so go to brunch like I'm not understanding like with this whole fascination with like the brunch thing like I think everyone's like making this brunch thing so cool. I, I don't, I just don't get it. Like, I feel like something on a shirt should be like something almost like unattainable. Like, you not know, everyone has a fucking Ferrari, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Can't, why can't these people be more witty? Like, I kind of want a witty shirt. I kind of want to like wear something that's cute. Not only that, why are the, is it so big? Like, why is it written so big? Like, it should be written like cute and small somewhere, whatever. I just like was, I just don't get it because whatever. You guys are like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I, but I could just think of something so much better than fucking brunch. Like, is that supposed to be something that you're supposed to like look up to someone who's going to brunch? Like, so go to brunch. Like, why do you have to write that on your shirt? I don't understand. Like, I just don't get it. Like, it's supposed to be like funny or cute. So brunch is not funny or cute. It's just a standard thing. Like, should I write like, oh, gas station and coffee before work? Cause like, that's what it is. I don't know. Like, okay, forget it. I just think that like, the wittiness needs to like be stepped up a little bit. 
because I want a shirt that's cute that says something like like what I said. Okay, move on, Alex. Just, just move on. Let's go on to something else. I'm so annoying. Okay, you guys know how I am about water bottles. I'm like all about the water bottles. I'm all about like the, my new Chanel water bottle or whatever. And I love the way everyone's like snapping me the Chanel water bottles. Um, so happy you guys are digging that. But I found a new water that I'm, I bet you people are gonna be like trying to find this water now. And you guys are gonna snap me when you find it. But I found it at a little Korean market. You guys look at this water bottle. First of all, it's square. Okay, you guys know I love square water bottles. I'm kind of over the round water bottles, very like basic. Oh yeah, it's another thing. Like, okay, I know I say basic bitch on these all the time, so why the fuck would I write like basic bitch on my shirt? Like, okay, like, I don't know, it's cool, but like, it's got it. Like, I don't know. Like, can we just be more witty, please, with like the shirts, please? Because it's just so getting to be basic. All right. All right, I just, okay. Stop, here we go. Look at this water bottle. Okay, it's so cute. How cute is this Korean girl in here? She's like this Korean girl and she has her water bottle and she's like so cute like that and um, it's just like a pretty color and there's a little uh, like pink raindrop right there and I just feel like it's very unique and I feel like I'm not in the US right now and I have this I feel like I'm traveling when I have Volvic actually I don't drink Volvic anymore when I have different water bottles it reminds me of traveling and I just love this so much it's called Wuri water w-o-o-r-i and it's just water it's not like anything flavored or anything and I just love it it's very cool Okay, what else? Um, oh yeah, let's talk about like music and stuff. Oh, first of all, let's talk about some chains. So you guys know, you guys love my, I feel like my tech, oh, my changed colors. Did it change colors? I'm not sure, I think it got like orange. There's a screaming fucking baby out there. Sorry, you can hear that annoying shit. All right, um, so you guys love my chokers, right? And I know I sell a lot of my inexpensive ones, a lot like my flash. <laughs> Ming Ming, come here. Ming. A lot of my flash chokers. So I want to expand on my um, lower price, like affordable chokers too, because right now all I have are my flash chokers. So I have now my mod, sleek mod chokers, and it's just like a sleek mod chain. And I have these in gold and silver, and they're both going to be $27 as well. So you guys can email me to order these. Good news also. My my site is currently being totally redesigned and you're gonna die. You're going to die when it's done. It's so on point. I'm like, uh, so excited. Okay, so gold and silver in my new Sleek Mod chokers. And then also my Lux Tattoo chokers. This is the one I wear all the time. Whenever I'm wearing a choker, it's it's always this um, Lux Tattoo. I'm also making it in gold now. And I've been getting, see how beautiful it is. It's um, This one's 41 and this one's 27, so they're just a little different. This is just a luxe tattoo. It's really beautiful and it catches the light really nicely. Um, so I, everyone's like, oh, gold, 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 gold. Okay, fine. Here's gold. I'm, I got you. I got you for the gold. Okay, next thing I'm going to talk about is real quick is my new um, oil slick pearl. And this is an oil slick crystal pearl. And it's a choker. It's like a low choker. So it would sit right there. And I have this in the rose gold pearl, a classic pearl, and now my oil slick pearl. Okay, and it's getting dark out, so I kind of got to hurry. I hope I didn't forget anything. But um, let me see. I want to talk about some music before I go, because I feel like music is always something that uh, people like want to talk about, right? All right, here we go. Let me just kind of tell you guys this. I'm so shiny right now, but whatever. All right, here we go. I love this song. All right, I want this song so bad. Someone please tell me or send this song to me somehow because I can't buy it on iTunes and I don't know how else to get music. It's called I Wanna Benz, I-W-A-N-N-A, I Wanna Benz by YG. Um, and I think 50 Cent, isn't it too? 50, is that what you call them, whatever. It is so sick and rude, I love it so much. Like, I wanna put that on a fucking shirt. Like, I want a Benz YG. No, I'm kidding. Like, that's kind of lame, but I don't know. Just, so I can't, I don't know. I just love that song so much. I don't have it. Um, I listen to it on YouTube every once in a while, but I kind of want to bump it in my car. Okay, I kind of love Bake Sale by Wiz Khalifa. Um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like anecdote a little bit-ish. I kind of love it, Bake Sale. 
I think it's featuring the guy who does Antidote. I think it is. And then, you guys, I'm loving Down in the DM, okay? Like, Down in the DM, I'm just like, that is on repeat. It is so rude. Like, he's straight up asking girls to send him pictures of, like, their private parts. Like, it's really fucking disgusting. But he owns it, whatever. And you know what's so funny? They had him on, like, our local rap channel. They had him, like, on Power... And they were like interviewing him. I think he might have been like high as fuck or something because they were like, what, is, what does this mean? Like, he's just like, I don't know. Like, he's like, oh, you know. Like, it just is so, like, he had no, he, I'm sure he knew, but he didn't even give a fuck. He's like, he's like I don't know. Like, what? <laughs> it was really funny. Okay, the next one is also by, oh, that was by Yogati Down The next one is Law, and it's featuring E40. And I love this jam. It's very, like, to the point, but it has, like, the same tune over and over, and I kind of feel like DM does, too. They're very uh, cool. I'm kind of loving both those. I have, like, those three on um, repeat. Uh, yeah, except I can't listen to the other one in my car because I don't have it yet. So, um, I think that's it. What else? Do I have anything other than rap right now that I'm listening to? I don't think so. You guys, because I have Ming, I haven't been able to, like, bump, because I, oh, I go with her everywhere. I go everywhere with her. I haven't been able to, like, bless. I left her alone one time. And it's the only time I ever got to blast my music. Like, I have not been able to, like, blast my rap in a long time. And it's kind of, like, annoying, honestly. But <sighs> is what it is right now. I don't know what else. I think that's it. Was this boring? I just wanted to catch up with you guys. And it's, like, the sun is setting. So I need to get going. And Ew, is this boring? I talked about everything, I think. Oh, let me show you guys this candle. It's kind of cute. I got this um, from this Swedish store. It's like a Swedish and like, it's like a Scandinavian store. And look at this. It's like a candle, like an old style candle, but it's actually all wax. Isn't that really cool? And the color is very like pretty. It's very, isn't that neat? But like once you burn it down to here, you throw it away. I think it was like 30 bucks too. So like what a fucking waste. Like what, a, what kind of an idiot buys this fucking candle? Like me, who the fuck? So dumb, so dumb. Like dumbest purchase ever, but kind of cool. Like, whatever. That was the hugest waste of money ever. So stupid. I think about it, I get mad at myself. All right. Um, I think that's it. I've just been listening to like Joyce. I've you guys know I like Joyce Meyer. I feel like she's very inspirational. She's very she makes you feel like I don't know. She speaks to me. There's people that speak to you. She fucking speaks to me. Like I really like her. I've been loving Dr. Laura now that I have Sirius. Like I'm on the Dr. Laura kick. Like I love her. Um, she's just real as hell, and she just everything she says is like so true, and it's great. So. Um, I don't know. I've listened to her. I've, I, I like you listen, you listen to her when she was on the radio and then she like got off the radio. She's on Sirius now. She, I think she got in trouble or something and she said something like, said something stupid. I don't remember, but yeah. So she's really good for advice. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. I think I might get nachos tonight, even though I'm not very hungry right now. I'm not sure, but I hope everyone has a great Saturday night or Sunday, wherever you are or Saturday. I'm not sure depending, but it's Saturday night for me. All right. I love you guys so much. So, so, so much. Bye. Oh, and as usual, uh, let me show you my nails. I know everyone's like dying to see my nails. They're painted. It's just, these are actually my nails, but um, painted with gel. And if you guys want anything, you guys know, please email me for any of anything you want. If you guys are confused by my site or you're just like, you guys know you can always just send me photos of whatever and I'm here to help you. So I know the site can like be confusing or there's some things on the site that aren't, are there th things that are not on the site but you want to order things on the site as well. Just email me and I can send you one invoice so you don't have to kind of dick around with it. But I love you. Okay, have a great rest of the weekend. Bye.